What's up everyone, it's Cookie Junkie here and today I'm going to be showing you 5 different ways of speeding up Raspberry MC on your Raspberry Pi. If you don't know how to install Raspberry MC, click on the screen now to be taken to my uh, installation video which will go through everything you need to know. So the sort of first way of speeding up is to overclock it. Now you may be like, oh no, I'm going to destroy it, I'm going to have to spend 35 more quid. But don't worry, Raspberry MC has three different um, performance profiles which you can use, which are really safe, they're really stable and they've been tested. And as far as I'm aware, they haven't broken anyone's part yet. Still though, if you do this, I just have no responsibility for it. This is just educational purposes. So to do this, you go right across to Programs. Go down to Raspberry MC settings and click on that. You'll get a dialog box and then you go two across. Go down nearly all the way to the bottom until you see where it says System Performance Profile. If we can click this once and go to Super or click it twice and go to Fast. As far as I'm aware, uh, Fast is actually slower than Super, but I don't know why it's in that order. So I'm going to put it on Super. Now, if you're a really advanced user and you really know what you're doing, you can click on the advanced overclocking here and then adjust it all manually. I strongly discourage you from doing this because if you do it wrong, it will break your Raspberry Pi. So I'm just going to play it safe with the super profile. Now, we're going to go down and you can also disable some servers if you you know if you're not using them I don't think this makes much of a difference but what's the point in having something on that you're not using so I'm just going to disable Samba and SSH because I don't SSH I think you can do FTP file transfer protocol but I don't know if that's in use for anything and the remote control I'm actually using now so I need that server on so once you're happy with this you don't you don't have to um, untick any of them if you don't want to but once you're happy with that you can go down and click OK it'll then prompt you or it should prompt you to restart, there we are, to restart your uh, Raspberry Pi, you simply click yes and the Raspberry Pi will reboot with the new settings and that's it, you've, you've successfully overclocked it. So when it's booted back up you should know it's a lot smoother, it's you know, it's sort of instantaneous for when you press the, uh, the button to go across. So for the next thing what we're going to do is lower the resolution. Now we're doing this because if you've got it on 1080p, not a lot of things actually use 1080p and it's a bit pointless having it on, it just basically makes your system lag a bit. So you're going to go into settings and um, then we're going to go to where it says system at the bottom. Let's go right down. And then where it says resolution, we're going to adjust that to 720p, which in case you don't know is, oh, I'll just add it then, is 1280 by 720 that's 720p. You simply go across and click yes, and then that's it, you're done with that. You can make this a lot smaller, like if you keep clicking on it, you can choose from a much smaller resolution, which will make it run a lot better, because obviously it's a lot easier on the uh, computer, so I'm just going to go back. So that's uh, that's actually, yeah, that's the second way of making it faster. The third way, what you need to do is, if we just go back, you need to go into system again, and then you need to go to where it says... Uh, video and then go down to where it says file lists now we're gonna untick this bit here which says extract thumbnails and video information what this basically means is when you go onto your uh, I'll just untick it now actually da -da -da -da. when you go into your uh, videos uh, find mine and you sort of look at one like so it takes a thumbnail from a part of the video um, and sort of, it just, it basically, it's a lot more CPU intensive if you have that ticked. If you have it unticked, you should know it's a lot, lot faster and it's just, it's a much more pleasant experience. The fourth way of speeding your uh, Raspberry Pi up is actually by your choice of SD card. Now you might not think this is important, but choosing a really fast SD card will give you faster boot speeds and loading times and things. So you can see in mine I've just got a standard uh, SanDisk SD card for digital cameras, but if you get a, like a class 10 one or something, then it will be it should be a lot faster booting times and stuff. I will put a link to a list which will have like all the compatible SD cards. Make sure you get one that's compatible with the Raspberry Pi, otherwise you're just wasting your money really. Now you can actually boot Raspberry MC off a USB drive and that's supposed to be even faster than an SD card, although I imagine like if you get a good SD card it'll probably be about the same. And um, if you do that, you will use, lose a USB port, though, which I wouldn't like to do, so that's kind of why I won't do it. 
So really, the final way of um, of speeding this up is actually something really simple. It's just the choice of skin. So if you don't know what a skin is, basically it's just like the um, graphical user interface, the GUI. So like we can see here, we've got like a little menu bar that we can scroll along and then things pop down and we can click on it and whatever and go through all the menus. That's basically the uh, skin. Now you can actually change this by um, by going into your system and then going into appearance and then you can change the skin the default skin is called confluence now I found this is actually the smoothest compared to all the rest but you can actually choose these are the ones I've downloaded but you can go to the bottom and um, if we click left get more and then you can choose them but this really is the smoothest one so if you want it to be uh, really fast then just stick with this skin and it will be faster. I mean, that last sort of step really is just avoiding downloading too many sort of skins and don't have too many add-ons either because that will slow down like the boot times and stuff. But if you, I mean, if you've got a lot of add-ons, don't start deleting them if you use them, but just think about sort of ones you might not use, don't really bother getting them. So that's been it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. I hope it helps you. If you've got any other advice about what you can do to speed up the system, please comment it and um, I'll do another video or something on it. Or if you've got any questions on how to do anything, then uh, just ask. And if you want links to my other Raspberry Pi videos, they'll be in the description, so go and check that out. Thank you for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and the like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.